Okay, welcome. Thank you very much for coming and joining me. My name is Walter O'Neill and I own AntiquesArena.com. I cannot believe the luck I've been having this last few weeks. I have had an absolute amazing discovery find again out in the wild for very, very little money. Stick around. We're going to look at what I bought today and you can see what you think for yourself. It's absolutely amazing. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Walter O'Neill and I run a website, AntiquesArena.com. Honestly, go have a look. You wouldn't believe some of the things I have found um, on there. So I buy antiques, collectibles, anything weird, wonderful, and just good quality and hope to flip it for profit on the website. I don't do eBay. Everything is on the website. So, Bolo. I have been out buying and I almost fell over something worth hundreds and hundreds of pounds for next to nothing. So we get started, have a look at my video, uh, have a look at my buys, see what you think, and we'll go from there. I'm going to start off with the uh, absolutely beautiful Italian Bitossi slab constructed um, vase. Yeah, <laughs> you call her a vase, right? Um, this could be an umbrella stand. It is huge. It is over 12 inches tall. By almost by five by six inches. It's a beast, weighs a ton. And it is a Batossi in the Rimini Aqua Blue rectangular vase by Aldo Londi, number 222-30. And this come in in the wild for four pound. Now, I've never had one of these. I've only ever seen people selling them or seen them in books. Now, people are asking 180, 170 for a six inch vase. This is 12 inches tall and it's only got a few paint flakes, which is standard for this type of stuff. There it is signed on the base. It is absolutely fabulous and in very, very good condition. Wait till you find out how much I paid for it. This absolutely stunning rare piece cost four pounds. That is all it cost, four pounds. And as I said, they're, they're asking almost 200 for a six inch vase. This is 12 inches and believe me, some, some are eight inches, but the extra four to six inches makes a huge difference. This is massive. Four pound, what a find. To find one of these out in the wild for four quid and I almost fell over it. That's how I discovered it. I almost walked into it. It's been a cracking week. If you've seen some, I don't know if you watch my videos regular, but some of the um, pieces I've had over the last two or three weeks, um, where literally I've been paying under a tenner and selling for seven, eight, nine hundred pounds. It's been absolutely spectacular gear coming in. It's all luck. But honestly, I've had, I think in the last month, I've had about five or six spectacular finds. And that was another one of them. So moving on, this was uh, part of an auction lot that I purchased. Um, I paid, um, trying to work it out, I think it was about 30, 40 pounds. But I had two massive solid silver picture frames, which have gone in another video, and a load of pictures which I sold, and other things, a miner's pocket watch case and things like that. So it doesn't owe me a penny, it's free. And it is a gold pocket watch by Summit. It's absolutely gorgeous. Wait till you see inside. Where is it? Where's the one I'm looking for? There. Look at that. All this beautiful engraving here. I don't know what these are. Um, I don't know if that's like medals they've won or history. I don't know. But it's absolutely beautiful pocket watch. It does need some attention. The hinge is a bit loose. Um, I can't remember whether it runs or not. It's a dual movement, as you can see, Swiss. But beautiful pocket watch doesn't owe me a penny. Needs attention. I put it out for needed attention. I don't think it runs. Where is it? I'm going to bear with me. It isn't running, no. It's not overwhelmed, but it's not running. But beautiful pocket watch. This come in again. £75 is up for, and that is cheap. Uh, this is a Tingle of London charm bracelet with two enamel silver charms. And I'm going to show you them now. This come in for £2. 
He came from a car boot sale. Uh, Tingler London is a very good designer make, you know, a bit like Pandora and that. Wait till you see these charms. They are cute as hell. That's the little pig. Beautiful little piggy. And I got the deck. Look at that. Quack, quack. Is that not just the cutest thing ever? I've had to hide this because if my daughter saw it, it would be taken. But yeah. Uh, I looked them up. The charms are selling for about 40, 50 quid each. The bracelets are 75 to 100. So as a, as a, as a parcel, 75 pound, very, very realistic. And it only cost me two pounds. This is a Mats Johansson Swedish glass paperweight with a check or a bird. Uh, it is a signed example. Uh, this came in for one pound. A whole one pound. I don't know why people just don't value the paperweights. They really don't. I've had some stunners. There is fully signed up there. Mats Johansson Sweden. Unnumbered. All right. It's not the best in the world being a check. Now, you know, when you compare it to some of the Perthshire paperweights with all the Millie Fiori and things, but it is Sweden, Swedish glass, Mats Johansson. And they sell him for 20 to 25 pounds, no problem at all. So that's what I've priced him up at. And again, as I say, come in for a pound. This was very interesting. I didn't know what it was. Obviously, it states on there, it's a recording clock. So what you can see from on this is it's a recording clock. It's retailed or produced for 41 pal mal of london now i don't know if any of you play monopoly or played monopoly but pal mal was a pretty high-end place on the board so i presume it still is in london anyway it's got a patent number and a serial number here and the maker's mark is dent in a triangle there now i don't have the key unfortunately i don't have the key with it now people are selling these for about 150 pound with the keys um, and ask, well, asking between 110 and 150 pounds with the keys. This doesn't have the key. Other than that, it does seem to be in good condition. Now, these have like a chronograph movement inside. It's unbelievable, apparently, the quality of the work ends. Um, what is it? It's a Night Watchman's Telltale Recording Clock made by Dent. Um, yeah, has a chronometer movement inside. That's what they dare say. Anyway. It cost me £20. Don't know if it works. I don't know the condition. I, I have no clue whatsoever. Uh, for all I know, it could be underwater for 10 years. I can't open it. But it's lovely to look at. And no doubt somebody will buy it, have a key, and open it up and get it going. £75 there. This was a bit of fun. It cost me a whole £1 again. The seller didn't know how to open the door. It's a puzzle box. And it cost me a pound. He was there. The door don't open. I, he shook it. There's nothing inside. I said, well, I tell you what, I'll have it, and I'll take a chance to see if I can get it open. I knew straight away it was a puzzle box. But on the front, it's got some beautiful little terriers. Look at that. Little terriers inlaid there. You know, everybody loves dogs. So lovely terriers there. Now, this is the simplest of puzzle boxes I've ever had. It really is. All you have to do is there's a piece on the front there. Now, that's a bit of missing um, in uh, veneer. So there's a piece here on the front. There you go. You slide that piece out. And then there is a little latch that you push down. So you push that latch down and out it pops. And there's your drawer. So you've got a little puzzle box. You can't open it otherwise. And then obviously that slides back in so nobody can see it. It is a bit dented there where people have been pushing it back and forth over the years. But an interesting little puzzle box. For 20, uh, it's up for 25 pounds. They sell him for around 30 pounds, 25 to 30 pounds. Um, and I thought with the dogs on it, it's a particularly nice box, but yeah, it was a pound because he couldn't open it. I don't always buy expensive. This came in, it, it was about 20 pence. And we have a knitted or crocheted uh, patchwork bag, you know, like you make patchwork quilts or crocheted blankets where they make them little squares and then they knit them together or st stitch them together. Um, and we got a little patchwork bag in wool. It's a gorgeous little thing. I'm not sure if the handle's plastic or celluloid. Uh, I don't really care either way. It's just got a really good look to it. And if you love that vintage, you know, patchwork stuff, that's right up your street, isn't it? Um, again, I've put it out for £20. It cost me 20 pence. 
Yeah, that's really cracking gear, isn't it? 20 pence. So this is a group of coins I purchased. Now, I, I bought, I think, a collection of coins for £10. That's all I give. And these are all in the collection. So first of all, you have an 1887 Canada copper coin, and it's the one cent. Uh, it's a nice coin in good condition. I wouldn't have it up if it wasn't in good condition. I've only got a tenner on it, but that pays for the entire lot. Then I had this, which is a 1887 silver, five cents. American silver is five cents. Unfortunately, somebody's hauled it to go on a charm bracelet. It's not in bad condition, actually. If you look at it, it's, it's, you know, it's pretty good. Unfortunately, been drilled. No coin collector is going to touch it. But I thought if somebody wants it to go on a bracelet, I've only put a tenner on it. It keeps it out in my mel melting pot because it is solid silver or 925 silver or whatever standard silver America used in 1887. Um, I know we stopped using silver in 1946. So anything before 1946 has silver content. If it's before 1921, it has higher content. It's like 925 before 1921. It's only 500 grade. So only half the weight is silver uh, after 21 to 46. I think America stopped about 10, 20 years later than us. Just want to check and put in another video, I think. Anyway, this was interesting. This, I'd never had one before. I didn't want to clean it. It's in really good condition. Uh, you can read everything and it's raised up crisp. It's just dirty and I didn't want to clean the coin and clean the patina off. But it reads Forestry Commission number 12. Now, people collect tokens, mining tokens, you know, military tokens, shop tokens. This is a forestry token. I've never seen one before. This is all part of the same £10 job lot. Then I had this, which was an 1806 George III halfpenny. Now, look how crisp that is. For a coin that is 215 year old. No, is it? Uh, 14, no, 217 year old, something like that. Two, over 200 year old. Look at that. Lovely condition on it. So there was that one, and that one was up for 20 pounds. As you can see, I'm doing well off my 10 pound. Then it was this, which is an 1887 Queen Victoria half crown. So it's solid silver or 925 silver. And it is half crown. As you can see, I don't clean my coins. Whatever you do, don't clean coins. If I got a piece of silver, a jug or a teapot, something, I will clean it. A vase, I will clean it. Coins do not touch. Bronze don't touch. Copper don't touch. Silver, I clean. People like to see silver. You know, if you're buying silver, they like to see it clean, but not when it comes to coins. So as you can see, a nice 1887 silver half crown. I didn't put up for a lot, 25 pounds. Then I had this, which was a Queen Victoria 1889 full crown. Again, 925 silver, solid silver. I think it's about an ounce of silver in a crown. There you go. It's a little worn there. You can see his wear on the face of the man and the horse. But it's still, you know, it's not. It's in acceptable condition. You can still read the date. And then it was this. Now... I bought this as part of a job lot. I bought this and I bought two medical prints. They were modern ones. Now, they weren't that old. Um, one was all the nervous system. Another one was vertebrae. But they were gorgeous to look at. Now, I paid £30 for the two prints and this. All right. This is gorgeous. The two prints I've already sold for about £40. So I'm a tenner up. This is free. It doesn't owe me a penny. However... I bought it really fast, and I didn't realize it's missing a piece. Now, I'm back there. So we start off, you got this beautiful Victorian saloon here or bar, advertised nails and spirits. you got somebody hanging off the roof there on the guttering, somebody drunk on the, gut, on the step outside, and the policeman is actually holding a truncheon up. It's absolutely wonderful. It is. He's holding his truncheon up there. Gorgeous little thing. And it weighs a ton, but you can see that hole there, it's lost a lamppost. I didn't realise at the time of buying it, but I would have still bought it. Stamp there, British Brass, NVB, 1983. And I can tell you now, this is a lump. Uh, bear with me. Three and a half kilos almost of brass. So, you know, it's 10, 15 pounds of brass there. 
I'm not sure what the brass price is at the moment. I think it's about three pound, four pound a kilo. Um, I haven't done scrap for a few years now, but it is eleven and a half inches tall, eleven and a quarter inches tall, and th almost three and a half kilos of brass, and it's gorgeous. So, as you can see, I've had some absolutely stunning stuff. That's, to be honest, it was quite tame to some of the things I have had over the last few weeks. Right, darling? Come in, up, up. Come see low. Come see low. There you go. Look, what's that? All right. What's this? Look. See you low. <laughs> this is my beautiful snowball. Isn't you gorgeous? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I know. Go on and jump down. <laughs> um, I really have had some absolutely amazing stock. It's been a mixture of charity shops, car boot sales, antique shops. I've just been going around buying just for the fun of it. And I've absolutely loved it. And I tell you what, I've got a heap ready to list now, um, tonight and tomorrow for the next video. If you haven't seen my recent videos, really go check them out. Um, there's at least three or four videos with things that I bought for a couple of pounds in the high hundreds. If you enjoy my films, really, I really would appreciate it if you can share and ask people to share the videos um, and like the videos. It really does help get the algorithm to pick the channel up and get the channel moving. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.